<laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you I didn't want to believe my feelings for you I didn't want to believe that I could lose you If I told you just how I felt But I can't help it I'm falling for you I can't quit it Cause I'm stuck on you And it might be pathetic And you might be skeptical But I just want to be with you Please tell me boy Can you get a clue or come through Cause I just want to be with you I'm scared Of telling When you get what you want But not what you need Wanna try this again? You're goddamn right I am. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome and to Anime Theory, where today we get to talk about explosions, which, while researching, probably got us put on the FBI watch list. You're really gonna steal my intro? Hey man, you say it all the time. Just let me have a little of the spotlight. Fine. Anyways, today, as Manime so wonderfully stated, we'll be talking about explosions. And when talking about explosions, only one character could ever come to mind. Everyone's favorite My Hero Academia character, Bakugo. Right? Everybody loves him, right? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm one of the only guys who actually likes Bakugo. Yeah, Bakugo is divisive among the fan base, maybe not among Manime. Heck, a lot of people downright hate him. For those of you who do hate him though, well, we got a treat for you. Yeah, while Bakugo's awesome explosion quirk is certainly quite the spectacle, it's also possibly one of the most dangerous quirks in all of My Hero Academia. So, he should probably wipe that smug look off of his face because, after this, he isn't going to be looking so hot. Wow. Hot, huh? Is this video all just gonna be fire and explosion puns? Maybe. Anyways, let's just start the theory. So, Manime, why don't you catch our less informed viewers up on Bakugo? Of course, I get to do the exposition work. Sorry, too easy. Bakugo is the top rated student of class 1A at UA Academy, the ultimate hero school. He's quite temperamental and is quick to explode on the other students. No, but seriously, he is genuinely an asshole. As for Bakugo's quirk, it's pretty incredible. He has the ability to create a range of different explosions. His quirk is not only one of the most powerful ones at UA, but also has some serious utility. Said explosion quirk is where things get interesting, though. As explained in the series, Bakugo is able to sweat a chemical out of his palms in order to produce explosions. He's able to make them a number of sizes as well, from small little pops to outright wall-shattering explosions. These explosions are no joke, trust me. Some of you may be wondering, though, what chemical? Well, none other than nitroglycerin. The chemical may not sound bad just from the name, heck, it sounds like some kind of bizarre medicine, but oh boy, this stuff ain't no joke. Nitroglycerin is a colorless, oily, and most importantly, explosive liquid created by Italian chemist Asanio Sobrero in 1847. This stuff has been used for quite a while in explosives, namely dynamite due to its explosive properties. I mean, sure, it can be used in other areas, but it's the main use. The fact that Bakugo is sweating this from his palms in broad daylight, no less, is really dangerous. Yeah, that's right. Nitroglycerin is known to be extremely unstable. To keep this stuff from exploding, it needs to be kept at very low temperatures and needs to be handled with the utmost care. 
Even the tiniest rise in temperature or the slightest bit of force will produce an explosion. So the fact that Bakugo is just walking around in broad daylight with this stuff coating his hands means that not only is he in constant danger, but anyone near him as well. If one small drop of this stuff isn't kept in optimal conditions, it could spell disaster. Also, just another problem with this quirk, Bakugo constantly being in contact with nitroglycerin is an issue in itself. Being exposed to the chemical for a long period of time can cause headaches, dizziness, nausea, and of course, heart attacks. Even worse is that he can't stop himself from being exposed. If he were to stop, his body would actually react negatively to it, as over time, the human body builds an odd sort of addiction to the chemical. All these symptoms would only worsen if he tried to stop using the explosions. Just thought I'd mention it. It's not quite as dangerous as the other stuff in this video, but I think it's worthy noting anyways. As you mentioned previously though, this stuff is on his hands. And so then, the question needs to be asked, how much damage could this do to someone? I mean, obviously it's not fun to have explosions constantly going off around you, but there's a bit of a difference between, say, a firecracker and a metric ton of TNT. So then, how do we go about finding how much damage this could do? Well, a good place to start is the aforementioned TNT, as that's the easiest to calculate values for. You see, an explosion's power is usually calculated in terms of how it compares to a ton of TNT. That's ton the measurement, by the way. Using this measurement, we can find out how many joules of energy the explosion uses. Now, a small explosion may not necessarily constitute a whole lot of power, but as we see in the series, Bakugo's quirk isn't some minor little popper. He's been shown multiple times performing ridiculous feats, like propelling himself through the air at ridiculous speeds, and breaking large structures. So no, we need a decently powerful explosion, and thus we need a fair amount of TNT to compare the power to. Also, I should note that TNT itself is not made out of nitroglycerin, but instead dynamite. We're using this comparison though because A, dynamite is actually more powerful than TNT, and B, it's easier to calculate explosions in terms of TNT because, well, that's how all explosions are calculated and compared anyways. Anyways, so in calculating the amount of TNT that would be comparable to one of Bakugo's mid-tier explosions, I found that it could range from 0.0005 to 0.005 tons of TNT, or about 1 to 10 pounds of TNT. They may not sound like a large number, and I mean, 10 pounds of anything isn't that much in weight, but we're not talking about weight, we're talking about power. So when taking that into account, we find that one pound of TNT produces roughly 2,092 kilojoules, or about 2,092,000 joules of energy, and 10 pounds of TNT produces about 20,920 kilojoules, or roughly 21 million joules of energy. While not directly equal, we can generally say that the force in Newtons is well above 20 million. So cool story, but what does this number really mean? Well, let's go ahead and put this into perspective, shall we? The force required to break an arm is about 12,000 Newtons, while ripping a limb off requires around 30,000 Newtons, or joules. Compared to the even smaller 2 million number we mentioned previously, these numbers are minuscule. This means that not only would these explosions coming from Bakugo's hands easily break bones, it would also easily rip off his entire arm as well. We aren't talking about mere arms right now, dude. His entire body could be shredded if the explosion went haywire. And this would mean that if Bakugo ever used the explosion on anyone, they wouldn't just be dead, they'd be gone. And combining that with how unstable nitroglycerin can be, this means that not only would this stuff explode pretty much any time it's subjected to room temperature, but that it could take anyone else in the room down with it. Man, that's really powerful. Too bad that if he ever used that in real life, he'd die instantly, or best case scenario, just lose a few limbs. Not so uh, smug now, are we, Bakugo? Well, that was pretty fun, huh? Well, I do feel bad for Bakugo because, you know, just imagine being a nine-year-old, finding out your quirk, and then immediately losing your limbs. Hey, wanna do something similar on your channel? Well, I may or may not have a theory planned for this upcoming Saturday, if you'd like to join me duo. So if you guys wanna see more My Hero Academia related content along with a new theory this upcoming Saturday, you guys should swing over to my channel, Manime Matt, and give me a sub. I'm sure duo will have a link in the description. I'll see you in a week, duo. Be sure to check him out, he's a pretty cool dude. He's got a pretty fun channel too.
was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised when I found Ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? <laughs> I don't know why enough people don't talk about this, but he is always playing with his tail and it is so cute. Look at his look in his eyes, bruh. <laughs> look at him, look at it. This is like my fifth time seeing him play with this boy's tail. Look at it. Oh, I actually pa unpaused it. <laughs> look at his face when he let it go. <laughs> F is for fuck your chicken strips. G is for give me your fucking money. <laughs> H is for he oh, needs no. some milk. I is for I thought you were American. F is for fuck your chicken strips. G is for give me your fucking money. <laughs> H is for oh, He no. needs some milk! I is for I thought you were American. So, anyway, wanna grab a bite sometime? What kind of stuff you like? Anything sweet. Uh, oh. Hey, Deku! Uh <laughs> Hey Bakugo, I found this Every day it's a body pillow in my laundry. Than a I think it's yours, huh? Like yours will surely come yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Every day it's a get
you or anything, fucka. <laughs> <laughs> I was hanging with you and then a real- Hi, Mr. Aizawa. Okay, we were in the middle of class when suddenly Kirishima jumped up onto his desk and yelled, Pikachu, I choose you, and suddenly Denki stood up and just started electrocuting stuff and Momo joined in on it and said, I choose Charmander. And then Todoroki started just lighting stuff on fire. I, I, I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know why he would join in, but he did. So now they're having like an actual Pokemon battle, but in the English class. So half of the room's on fire and the other is now electrically charged. I'm so sorry. This video is only for small TikTok pages. So if you have 5,000 followers or less, use this sound on your video. And I want everyone on TikTok to go support these small pages. True, I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you. I didn't want to